Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable. Welcome back to the new character beta testing. If you guys have missed my previous videos, make sure to go check them out so that you can keep all updated and everything. But today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the combinations of the skin tones, the character body types, the head shapes with those skin tones, eyebrows, eyebrow cut eyebrow colors and also eye colors now let me know in the comments below if i should do this because i didn't actually do different head shapes with the different body types and now that i think about it i really should do different head shapes with different eyebrows as well but there was just so many different combinations that you can have in this game that i just couldn't put them all into this video. This video is already 22 minutes long and fun fact I spent 34 minutes filming this video. You will see the character like jerk their head a little bit and that is a cut you know I have to cut because this character like our characters do this now but they like lean down and brush their arm so many times i cut out 12 minutes of footage of 34 minutes of my character literally just brushing its arm now that doesn't sound a lot but also it's like incredibly annoying when you're trying to, de to decide between like different eye colors and everything even just face shapes for the character to keep moving now this is somewhat good when when I want to look at the no shape from the side and the side profile of the character it's not the best so it works then but I think that star stable could have just added like a little swivel camera thing so you could swivel the character around to be able to see the side profile I don't know it, like right there that animation right there like that's what the character kept doing and what I had to keep cutting out it was just really annoying but yeah so I wanted to do this video because I really feel like it helps show the different variations of character you can have. I know that a lot of people are still kind of disappointed in some of the face shapes and things like that, but I feel like it's uh, hard to uh, realize how many options there actually is to customize our character in a way I suppose especially with the eyebrows the eyebrows really do change the face shape which is why I'm looking back at this and I'm like oh man the eyebrows are so important to the face shape that I think I might do a different video doing like every face shape with every eyebrow just so you guys can see that a little bit because I know that just changing the eyebrow on my current character's face shape really made me like it a bit better which is really good so obviously this video is pretty long I'll probably let you guys listen to some music for some of it but I do want to talk a little bit about the characters so I know some people have been like posting like they posted a bunch of videos on the first day but uh I kind of wanted to spread mine out a little bit more you know got to get that content I post daily sometimes it can be pretty difficult especially if I made all of the videos of the updated characters on one day I feel like I would have been pretty burnt out to then have to make a video you know every other day for the next couple of days so I hope you guys don't mind that I'm really spreading out my content a little bit I hope you guys aren't sick of the new characters yet as always let me know in the comments Comments below what other videos you want to see with these new characters I have got quite the list of my own which I've been working on for the past week because I really wanted to be prepared for the time beta testing so um, but yeah of course let me know what you guys want to see with these characters in the comments below um, I did want to talk about some of the like most asked questions or statements that I've gotten so far on my videos a lot of the things which come up is um, the like making skinnier character types and things like that and I can definitely say that I I think so too one thing that I've kind of noticed though is it depends on what like clothes you put onto the character so I find that wearing jumpers which I wear jumpers a lot just makes the character look um heavier I suppose which you know I'm not a massive fan of the way that a lot of the jumpers sit which is kind of unfortunate because as I said I wear jumpers all of the time and like I feel like oh yeah that's right I try to bring as basic like base slate to this as possible 
as possible so the character isn't wearing any makeup I tried to tie the hair back and put it in like a neutral kind of color and they are also wearing a, like a singlet top shorts and sandals which you can't see but um just because I wanted to like show off like the body shapes and everything as much as possible as much as you can so yeah I feel like the thinnest body type actually does look pretty thin compared to some of the other clothes I've put it on I don't know if that's just me like I feel like I don't know it just looks really different depending on what clothes you put on which kind of happens with our characters now but because we only have one body type I guess we don't really notice it much with the current characters anyways that's just my little thing on that but also um star stable hears you guys star stable like especially when everyone is saying it star stable has heard you and unfortunately saying it every single day on every single video isn't gonna make the change happen with a click of the fingers you know I'm not sure if Star Stable plans to add more body types but I promise you guys they have heard you and I'm pretty sure like okay this is my opinion I feel like okay it's already in a lot of the clothes that I've looked at there's already quite a bit of warping going on which I think is just gonna happen especially since they're converting clothes from 11 years ago to new character body types and everything warping is unfortunately going to happen I'd be really curious to see what would happen when they make new like types of clothing using the new body character types whether they will look better or whether they're like uh, game engine just doesn't allow that because the thing is I know a lot of people also thought that they would be able to change the mouth and nose separately and the um, eyes and everything and um, if you haven't been keeping up with the star stable blog post then maybe that is what you guys thought but I'm pretty sure star stable did kind of let us know throughout the journey that you know the makeup would be separate the eyebrows would be separate but unfortunately the nose mouth and everything does have to be together and um, yeah, I think a lot of people want to compare it to The Sims 4. You know, some people are saying they don't like it because we look like Sims characters. Um, I just think of The Sims 4 as the creator sim kind of standard because The Sims 4 has one of the most like, you know, um, uh, free to move everything around you know the sims 4 is like limitless and potential for what your character can look like but star stable is a very different game to the sims 4 it is definitely a lot smaller it has a lot of a smaller budget it's a lot of a small like game it is probably run on a different game engine and everything so unfortunately i just don't think that's something that we will be able to see in star stable at least for now you know star stable's already spent a couple of years working on these characters that i'm not sure we will ever like see sliders or anything like that anytime soon i'm not saying that we might not see a skinnier body type but i cannot speak on star stable's behalf just because i'm beta testing doesn't mean i know any more than what you guys know and things like that but um yeah I just wanted to say that and I don't mean to say that I think that the constructive criticism is great and I know some people think that I am being toxic positive when I say stuff like that but I really just want to find the middle ground um I think that especially with a younger audience of Star Stable they might not understand how video games work and it might just it sounds easy for them to just shrink a couple of limbs make a thinner character so um I think it's also important to educate younger people and those who just don't know about video games that sometimes that's unfortunately just not how it works and we do also have to take that into consideration um so yeah I don't know just keep the constructive criticism going one way that I love to do constructive criticism is to say something that you love already you know it's it's a really hard pill to swallow if someone comes up to you and says I don't like I don't like your face <laughs> I don't like this I don't like this whereas it kind of gives you um, a little bit of boost of confidence when someone comes up to you and they're like hey star stable I really like the skin tones that you've given us the hair is amazing however I am still kind of hoping to have some skinnier body types that is something that I want or you know some other constructive criticism that you have you know kindness goes a long way and um, yeah I don't know I do not I never mean to come up with of as toxic positivity or something which has only come up 
by a couple of people a few times, you know, literally the, the bare little bit. But yeah, I just wanted to say that I'm just trying to educate people alongside letting them have their um, constructive criticism as well. I don't know. I don't like choosing sides. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, oh yes. The other thing with, um, some people have said that they would have loved to see more like hourglass shapes and things like that. Unfortunately, we do see a little bit of difference and variation between the upper half of the characters and the lower half of the characters. But the thing is, as I said before, I'm already seeing quite a bit of warping of especially like clothing items with designs. Now, I haven't like gone through a ton a ton of clothing yet and some clothing items do look better than other clothing items for one thing the dresses look absolutely gorgeous on these new characters literally amazing um however some of my favorite jumpers the star stable birthday ones the star stable logo is a little bit warped and that is probably because they have to they made a whole blog post on it so if i sound weird i'm kind of shaking right now um <laughs> But um, they did make a blog post on like creating the clothes to fit the new characters and it all sounds so confusing and I by no means like understand how to do that. I would like if they said, okay, fine, then you make the clothes, bro, I would have no idea what I'm doing. They're doing like so much better than I could ever start to do, you know, so I'm really appreciative of appreciative of that and also the fact that they were able to convert every single clothing item to these new characters is also amazing you know it's insane and I think a part of it is just getting used to these new characters you know the very first video that I filmed my first reaction was literally my first reaction as with anything it's a big shock to your system I've played this game for 10 years and I only say that because I've been looking at the same character for 10 years so this was a really really big like shock to my face kind of thing you know big change to get used to you know eight-year-old me was not prepared <laughs> I suppose and um especially in movement as well obviously up until now we've only seen pictures and Star Stable has like a thing where they can actually pose their characters and everything whereas you know we're just in the game environment which is going to be different to any of the pictures that we've seen so it was a shock and you have to get used to it and um already like even just doing this it really gave me an understanding of um what we have in the game, like the face shapes and everything, what kind of works together and things like that. It's already gotten me super like used to some of the things that we see in the game with these new characters. And I'm sure when I start to make more outfits and everything, I'll start to get used to how the clothing items fit and things like that. And obviously, once again, gosh, I should have mentioned this at the start, not 13 minutes into the video, but this is a work in progress beta version Star Stable is still working on it. There is going to be bugs. There is going to be glitches. There is going to be changes. So far from what I know, one of the Star Stable news pages said that coming in 2023, coming next year, is the player character update. So I'm pretty sure after this beta test is finished, they're going to go back. They're going to do a bunch more like finalizing, changing up a couple of things and things like that. And then we probably won't see a final release until next year. Star Stable did mention on a couple of Instagram comments when people asked, uh, will more people be accepted? They said, we'll let you know if more people get accepted into beta testing. So whether that means they're thinking of doing a second round of beta testing, I am unsure whether it'll be the same, whether it'll be a bigger sample size or anything. We are still not sure about that. So just stay tuned in everything. Now, a mistake that I made uh, before filming, well, whilst filming my first reaction to the new characters, I didn't realize that there was an FAQ. Star Stable did say in their email that there was an FAQ, but I thought it might have been relating to any technical issues. And since I didn't have any technical issues, I didn't look at it, but I looked at it after. So I'm going to go ahead and read you guys some of the information because I think it's really important. So one of the questions, well, one of the things that is mentioned is things we're still working on. It's important to remember the character is still a work in progress. And although it is functional, a number of bugs are still present. The clothes 
straddles and hair are suffering from different levels of clipping, longer hairstyles collide with the back and shoulders, many clothes aren't yet fit with the character bodies, and the majority of the saddles are too small at the minute. We're aware and working on it. So I suppose what I said about the clothes before, maybe they're still fixing the warping of the images. So once again, I'm speaking before like you know seeing the finalized product and everything this is why sometimes i hate saying that i don't like the clothing right now like the jumpers and stuff because star stable's still working on it and like it would suck to still be working on something and to have people constantly telling you the jumpers aren't good the jumpers aren't good and then for them to be like we know we know we're working on it we're working on it. like that must feel so bad but anyways maybe i'm just i don't know <laughs> the animations aren't yet synchronized with all the breeds and need to be adjusted to each body shape fixing for example arms that can go through the body you might notice the character is not holding the reins when riding or leading the horse this obviously doesn't really um lend itself to this video we're not on a horse and the props objects hold by characters are attached to the wrist instead of the hand Alrighty, let's move on to another question, which was, will beta testers be able to keep their new characters in the live game at the end of the test? No, this will be a beta experience only and will not affect regular accounts, nor carry over when the beta has finished. So for example, they did graciously give all the beta testers and like ambassadors and stuff 100,000 star coins, but that is not going to be on our account at the end of this or anything. I made a video where I bought every single hairstyle and makeup item in the game that is not not going to be on my main account. This was just because for those people who say can't afford to buy horses or hairstyles, obviously beta testers need to beta test and test a bunch of different hairstyles on horses in all the different activities and stuff. So if they didn't have hairstyles to test on, you know, it wouldn't work out that well. So they gave us star queens and everything like that. All right, will all tester feedback be implemented into the new player character? We'll take all feedback into consideration, but we may not be able to implement everything. We also will be working with the character in stages, so not all changes will be implemented upon full release. So yes. Yes, I feel like that might be everything that I have to kind of say right now. Everything else is still important and I will link this in the description. Description? In the description? Yes, the description. Sorry. Oh my gosh. It's, it's 3 a.m. <laughs> um, I'll link this in the description so you guys can, if you have any questions, you can go check out the FAQ, which means frequently asked questions, to see if it's been answered there. Otherwise, don't be afraid to chuck a comment down below. But I think I'll go ahead and uh, play some music for the ending of this little... Uh, um, combinations of everything let me know in the comments below would you ever use the no eyebrow option i don't know i'm really curious about that <laughs> Go! 
guys if you have made this it this far then thank you so much you are so ever so kind for supporting me let me know in the comments below if you if i accidentally made you a character or anything did you like any combinations i'll go ahead and let youtube pop pop up on the screen right now a video for you to watch so if it interests you please go ahead and click on it i really appreciate it but uh yeah love you guys so much bye